Well, we're back. Another engineering economics problem again. Pretty, uh, pretty basic question, if you ask me. I'm not even gonna do a free uh, cash flow diagram. If you need a cash flow diagram, I'll let you practice that. But let's see. This guy wants to uh, invest some money over the next ten years to get fifty thousand dollars, and he's assuming five percent return every year. Well, let's see. Okay, we have the future uh value which is fifty thousand so let's draw that let's define that as fifty thousand let's just do that and we know the number of years which is n ten years and we know the interest rate which is five percent per year the years um the, the partitions of n is in the same uh partition of the interest rate if that makes sense like it's per year basis um and that's pretty much it and what we're trying to find is the amount the owner will need to invest annually. So what that tells me is that we need the equation of annual given present or future, actually, because we only know the future. We don't know the present, uh, ironically. Uh, so we need the equation annual given future of the interest rate of N. And there's a special formula for this. Um, again, you can look this up in your your FE handbook uh, reference guide, blah, 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 blah. But essentially, it's going to be I, if I remember this correctly. This is all from my from my brain. I'm, I'm memorizing this. That will be your equation for that you know special factor that helps you solve the problem. And then uh, if we want to find that annual value, it's going to be A equals F times A given F. I and that's pretty basic. Um, so we just plug that into here. That's going to be F times I one plus I n minus one, just like that. So all you have to do is plug in some numbers. Pretty basic stuff, if you ask me. So A is going to be what we just defined it. Fifty thousand. Yep, I said fifty thousand. And then 5% is that much. This is going to be 1.5 to the 10th power, of course, minus 1, right? Yeah, that is 1. And then if you do the calculations, the Bray did the calculations, that's going to be 3,975. The main trick to these problems is actually reading out what you need. What do you have? Future or do you have a present value? Do you have an annual or recurring payment value? Do you have an interest rate? Blah, 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 blah. And then you just say it out loud. Okay, I have the future value given uh, this value or blah, blah, blah. So if you're trying to find the, for this example, we have the future value and we want to find the annual rate. So we say annual given future because we know the future. 